Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GamerTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So in today's video, the character we're looking into is Grabby Wabby. So we're looking into this character's location, their backstory, and their gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. As always, I will just state that these are just fan-made characters and also a fan-made story. So this isn't really canon or linked with Poppy Playtime, it's just a cool creepy story we get to tell and we hope you enjoy. And lastly, do be sure to subscribe to GamerTube as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get a better look into the character of Grabby Wabby. So in our Puppy Playtime character concept series, we've covered three theoretical characters. So far, we've covered Chompa Wompa, Slivy, and Rex. Chompa Wompa was a larger Huggy Wuggy-like character that had two frightening mouths on either of their arms filled with jagged sharp teeth. Then there was Slivy, a large monstrous rubber snake that was hellbent on devouring the player. And lastly, the large dino character Rex, who had a serious grudge against Puppy and wanted her to pay. And no one was going to get in the way of Rex. All these creepy characters had their own distinct backstories and reason for terrorizing the player. So now, let's look into our fourth concept character in Poppy Playtime. And this character is Grabby Wabby. Grabby Wabby was another toy character that was a part of the Huggy Wuggy and Kissy Missy family. They looked quite similar to Huggy and Kissy, but with a few different features. First off was their red colored fur. Their fur was a deep red colour that was contrasted with their bright green lips. The other models of the Huggable toys had bright red lips, but these red lips would have just blended into their fur, so the company decided on green. Probably their most distinct feature was their eyes and arms. Grabby had three eyes and four long arms. What sets Grabby Wabby apart from the rest was their sticky hands. They had the ability to stick to objects and grab them. They were quite similar to those old sticky hand toys that we used to play with. Another feature they had was their ability to climb down walls. Children could throw Grabby at the walls and their hands would unstick and slowly climb down the wall. Grabby Wabby was quite a unique toy in the huggable range of Playtime Co. toys. Grabby was actually the shortest character out of the huggable family. When compared to the Huggy Wunky dolls, it was quite noticeable. So overall, Grabby Wabby was one of the lesser known toys that Playtime Co. produced. But they did receive a resurgence in later years when they gained a little more popularity. But it's safe to say that they were never one of the main characters like Huggy and Kissy. But that never seemed to bother Grabby. They were always a quiet character and never really wanted the spotlight. Playtime Co. still produced the Grabby Wabby dolls, but they were only sold at specific stores throughout the country. Diehard Playtime Co. collectors would travel far and wide to get their hands on this rare toy. So now let's continue the story segment of the video. So where we left off, our protagonist narrowly escaped their run-in with Rex. They managed to lure Rex into the garbage compactor, but they were shocked to see the persistent dino break through the wall and try to grab them once more. The player narrowly escaped through a strange looking door and found themselves in another new section of the factory. And this section was the research and development facility of Playtime Co. This was the area where Playtime Co. tested and developed all their secret patents for their products. This would include the specific types of coloured dye that they used on their toys. Also, the design blueprints for their era products, and a bunch of other strange experiments and tests. As the player wanders through the facility, they come across a testing area for the Grabby Wabby dolls. This was the section where they developed the sticky hands for the Grabby dolls. When they look over, they can see that multiple dolls are stuck on the walls. It seems that the researchers would throw multiple dolls at the wall and see what different formulas would stick the best. It seemed kind of cruel to keep throwing them at the walls day after day, but they were just toys after all, so it doesn't really matter. As they wander further through, they came down to a large door. 
The door reads in large writing, Specimens. This door appears to be the only door in the research facility. The only other door is the one they came through. And they definitely didn't want to deal with Rex again, that's for sure. Right beside the specimen door was a keypad panel. Not only did they need to find the code for the door, but they also needed to find the fuse that powers the lock. So our protagonist sets out to explore this area and find the code and the fuse. They eventually come across their first puzzle. In front of them are multiple power nodes. They need to attach themselves to the power and continue the current to the other nodes. When they figure out the correct procedure, then the fuse box is finally opened and they can grab the fuse. They place the fuse into the panel and it springs to life. Now the last thing they need to do is find that code. While searching, they come across a Huggy Wuggy doll surrounded by multiple different solutions and chemicals. In this puzzle segment, the player needs to mix the correct mixtures of colour pigments to reveal the numbers that are painted on their body. Whenever they sprayed the Huggy doll, it would change the colour of their fur and reveal a number written on their body. The player can mix and match the different colours and reveal the numbers they need for the specimen door. After they've completed the puzzle and gotten the code, they then return to the door. The code gets punched in and the door opens. As they walk through this room, they can see many strange looking objects on the shelves. At the far end of the room was a large hatch that looked like it led out of here. As they took their next step, from the shelves burst out the frightening creature, Grabby Wabby. Their dark blood red fur is all dirty and matted. Their hands are withered and worn away. And their mouth is much wider and filled with multiple razor sharp teeth. Slimy strands of saliva drip from their mouth as they stare intently at the player. Their four long arms grab at the player but they evade them just in time. They need to make a break for the hatch at the back of the room before Grabby gets a hold of them. Grabby was able to move at a faster speed than any of the characters to date. Their four individual arms would grab every shelf and propel them towards the player. The player needs to slow them down somehow. Whilst running from the disturbing creature, they see multiple containers filled with the different toy pigments. The player would need to grab the containers and throw them behind them at Grabby. The glass would hit them and shatter, and a large cloud of pigment would stop them in their tracks for a moment. This would give the player much more time to get to the hatch. The chemicals wouldn't last long though, as they would shake them off and continue forward. After throwing more glass containers and slowing Grabby down, they finally crawl through the hatch. They shut the hatch behind them and continue forward. Just as they thought they were safe, Grabby forces the vent open and crawls in after the player. The protagonist needs to move much faster or they'll get grabbed. The player moves quickly through the vents whilst Grabby is hot on their trail. When they finally reach the exit, they fall into a giant vat of discarded toys. Grabby falls through and lands into the toys as well. The player needs to swim through the sea of toys and find the release valve before Grabby finds them. Once they locate the release valve, they grab it with both their hands and hang on. All of the toys and Grabby drain through the hatch into the incinerator. At the last second, Grabby grabs onto the player. They need to let go with one grab pack hand and use the other to strike Grabby in the face.
After they hit them in the face a couple of times, they would let go and fall into the incinerator. The player shuts the hatch and they can finally land on the floor. They were finally safe. All they had to do now was find a way out of this vat. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting, and subscribing, as it helps out a lot and it's greatly appreciated. Also in the comment section down below, let me know what you thought of Grabby Wabby, and what you'd like to see going forward in these Poppy Playtime videos. Alrighty everyone, well, until the next video, I'll catch you later, bye.